spent like 15 minutes upping my, my character. Hey, sorry to bother you. Can you spare a cup of joe? Sure thing, Commander. You're becoming quite the regular here lately. Mustache man has too much time on his wings. Maybe, but that's a good thing. If the brass has time to putz around, it means the rest of the force is running smooth. Maybe. Or maybe it means the brass is playing hooky. Hey, yeah. Where do I sign up for a cushy job like that? Claim that even Tatsu could do Vandom's job. Nah, you don't... <laughs> say that only Vandom can do his job. You don't... You don't want to get... You see the muscles on Vandom? You don't want that guy on your bad job. Why does it say mock and suck up? Both of these are awful options. You don't want to mock your boss, and you don't want to suck up to your boss. Like, you don't want to... You don't want to be a suck up. That's... I don't want to be a suck up, but I also don't want to mock the guy who is A, in charge of me, and B, can probably snap my neck in half. Like, by just twisting his wrist. Like, <laughs> both of these are... This has happened a lot in this game. I've given only two options, and I don't like either of them, so I just choose the, like, lesser of two evils. I'm gonna say that only Vandom could do his job. Someone gets it. But you other jokers, you got no idea what it's like, do you? Well, maybe it's time you all walked a mile in my boots. Uh, I don't know what that means, but I don't like the sound of it. Well, it's just too damn bad, ain't it? Meet me first thing in the morning, and that's an order. This is why you don't make fun of your superior. Unless you have a really good relationship with your superior is like more friends than, you know, employee and employer. Uh, you decide, decided, I did not decide to do anything. To observe Commander Vandom at work for an entire day. Go follow him around. Why do I have to? I said that only he could do his job. I was the good one. This gives 180 EXP though. That's pretty good. Head to Barista Court in the morning. Easy. You know what? I kind of disliked it at first, the whole changing the arm thing around, but I don't know. It's kind of growing on me all of a sudden. I don't like the pants plus the torso, but kind of the fact that one arm is different, I don't know. The look is kind of growing on me, and I'm happy about that. I'm definitely not putting back on the headgear. Not a fan of the headgear. But, uh, I am, uh, kind of warming up to this whole, uh, one arm being different than the other deal. I considered getting both arms just the same, but then before I could do that, I realized, wait a minute, I'm pretty sure this armor is the one that lowers beam resistance, and uh, the right arm one I have is the one that gives me more beam resistance. It was kind of the thing stopping me from being super weak to beam. Or not beam, to gravity, my bad. Being super weak to gravity. So definitely not doing that. We've got to go to Brista Court in the morning. It is morning, but it's about to not be morning. I'm pretty sure 12 will change to afternoon. Okay. Uh, this red bench is apparently what changes time. Someone told me that in the comments. Yeah, I just missed this thing. How are you supposed to pick out that one red bench? Uh, let's switch it to early morning, morning. There you go, 8 o'clock morning. That should do it. That way we have plenty of time to do whatever it is we need to do. I'm afraid that if I fast travel now, by the time I got to him, it would just change to not morning. All right, Breeze to Court. I'm pretty sure that is in the commercial district and that I can fast travel to it. Uh, commercial district on I'm on my Wii U pad right now, and I can fast travel around it. I'm right next to it easy Is Brewster court where uh Joe works that girl who like destroys all technology that we helped Could be could be all right looks like Vandom is right over here Time for a day in the life of Vandom Sorry, dude. Didn't mean to run into you. Except I don't really care. <laughs> I heard he usually gets breakfast here, but I don't. Ah! Mustache man! All right, let's get this over with. He's done eating, but he's still sitting there. As Tatsu thought, so much free time. We're having trouble with Siniculus, sir. Ben, Miranda, and Cornell's team have been engaging them, but with limited success. 
ridiculous. They're a cinch. Just snap that big horn on the melon. That exposes an orange subdermal structure that you can fry from the bean. Just relax and have fun with it. Well, that's a pickle. Fine, we'll get out there and install some new probes. Otherwise, tell them to work with what they got. Get creative. Mustache man seems very low key. Yeah. Is this supposed to make his job seem all stressful? Ah, there you are. I assume you witnessed that elegant display of high stakes multitasking. Uh. Not exactly. Well, it's still early. Come find me in the afternoon when things really heat up. Wait, what? We have to do this again? That's an order. Get wrecked, Lynn. So now I've got to go change it to afternoon. Oh, there's a time thing right next to me, though, it says. What is this yellow? Yellow normally means they talk about a segment and Oblivia has been updated. Oh, that's cool. All right, uh, can I change the time? Where can I change the time at? Where's this time change? Just this right here? Is this it? No, that's not it. I'm so bad. It's this red bench, isn't it? Okay, red benches change time. Good to know. Very good to know. I just need to look for red benches. Uh, afternoon. Perfect. How does the time work in this game? Is it like in Terraria where one minute is one second? So you've got like uh, one hour is one minute? That's what it's looking like. I don't know why I'm running. I need to check my mini-map and see if it's faster that way. Oh, yeah, it definitely is. Can't even see him on the mini-map. Ooh, there's a new... Uh, what's that level? Is it that affinity mission? Ooh, an affinity mission that is uh, level 15 and requires Elman and Lin. We'll go do that later. Uh, administrative district. That's where he's at right now. Let's fast travel on over there. Oh, I've got a fast travel right next to him. He's over at the hangar. Awesome. We'll probably do another affinity mission or two after this one. Depends on how I'm feeling. I'll do at least one more affinity mission. That one that was level 15 that I just saw. Then after that, we'll, uh, here's another yellow. The there we go. Uh, d d oh, we got to where he was. I was wondering why I suddenly stopped moving. We must be where he is. around here somewhere. Ooh, Elma, there he is. Mustache spotting is fun. Let's see what he's up to. Looks like work for once. Maintenance is falling behind, sir. Makes sense. Combat got a little rough and tumble yesterday. We'll start with the units that took the most damage. It'll be quicker to strip them down for spare parts than spending weeks fixing them up. Sounds good, sir. We can use the electronics and generators as is, but the secondary armor shot. All right, then. We'll need new materials to patch it. Hey, you rubberneckers busy? Rubberneckers? That's a bit unfair, seeing as how you ordered us to watch you. Ah, you know what I meant. Anyway, you'd be helping out Blade. The sightseeing tour is over. See if you can scrounge up what we need, all right? Lazy mustache man should do it himself. No can do, potato cake. Gotta stay here and oversee the mechanics. Now off with it. I guess a mission's a mission. Good old Vandom. I've never heard the term rubbernecks before. I assume that means, like, you're being a lazy bum or something similar to that. I, I have no idea. Get a blue electrical tentacle from Placid duogills or others in primordia and i don't have a waypoint for this that's not good okay i'm going to have to do a lot of cutting a lot of stuff out i have finally found where these stupid doogles are holy crap they're in silent mire this place is called silent mire i actually have a fast travel point to it but uh for those of you who do not i'm gonna give a quick description if you're looking at your uh, wii u pad I can't show it on screen, unfortunately, because I do not have a way to record it. But uh, the way you do it is, if you look at, uh, you've got a data probe on the east side, like if you're looking at the uh, town, the city, uh, new uh, in LA, new in LA, that's new, new Los Angeles, in LA, at the top right of it, there's one probe, it's like the only probe for 
in LA that is actually like touching the top right of the city. It's like inside of it sort of. Fast travel there, go two segments up and right. It'll have, uh, if you have the probe around it, Silent Meyer has a uh, tyrant symbol on it saying that you need to kill a tyrant there for like survey raid or something. It's right there. It's literally just that probe right there. It's the only probe that's like physically, the only probe hexagon that is actually touching uh, in LA on the map. And then just go two hexagons uh, northeast up and to the right. And it's, uh, it's a hexagon that does not have a probe in it. It is next to a probe hexagon. And it's right there. If you get there, you get a fast travel point to it. But anyways, this is Silent Mire. This is where you can find these stupid duogles. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to, like, put in the... I'm gonna put in the, um... In the whatchamacallit. They're, like, level 22. This is annoying. But here they are. Placid duogles. Um, I'm gonna have to put in the title of this video, like, location of placid duogles or something. Because I was trying to Google where to find this thing, and they were a quite a few different answers. Some people told me to go to, like, this headwater cave to fight cave duogles, and they would give it to you. I went there, I fought, like, 15 of the cave duogles, and did not get the blue tentacle. So I'm really hoping these guys give me what I need. Also, nowhere explained where this was. I, like, searched for... I went to, like, four or five different sites before someone said, walk out the east gate, go up, like, two or three of the, uh hexagons, and then there's a, um, there's a hole in the ground that leads you in here. As you can see, you're kind of in a hole in the ground here. You jump down into this place normally. But anyways, yeah. Really, really annoying. Incredibly annoying. This one did not drop anything. That's just great. That's how it started for me when I found the cave duogles. They just fell without dropping anything a lot of the time. Ah, crap. You can only find them at night, too, by the way. You can only find them at night, and it is currently day, as you can tell. It's early morning. Oh, wait, what do I need for this? Oh, it's archaeological level, too. Uh, I need to change the time, so I'm just going to fast travel somewhere else and then fast travel back here. Uh, da -da -da -da, administrative district should have a really easy place for me to change the time. I'm going to have to edit out, like, half an hour. I ended up just running around trying to find it. I couldn't find Silent Mire for a while. I didn't realize I had a fast travel point to it until a little bit later. Where is the thing I need? I keep clicking the wrong button. I'm so good at this game. Uh, fast travel right here, the blade barracks. I'm going to change the time and then fast travel right back. So if you're watching this, trying to figure out where the heck these stupid duogills are, Silent Mire. Go to the one probe area that is actually touching NLA on the Wii U map. Go... It's two hexagons away, northeast, which would be up and to the right if you're looking at it. Assuming you can't change the orientation of the map. I don't think you can. I've never been able to change the orientation of the map. Mine always has been the same orientation. I've just moved it around. All right, whoops. Walked over it. All right, I need it to be, uh, like, late, late night. That'll work. Now we fast travel back and hopefully find these stu uh, stupid tentacle. It has to be night, so make sure if you're hunting the duogle that you set it to night first. Back to Silent Mire. This is the most annoying affinity mission. First you have to find Silent Mire. Or you have to figure out that they're at Silent Mire. Then you have to find Silent Mire. If you don't already have it as a fast travel location, it's even more annoying. All right, there should be some around now. Is this level 20 thing over here that hasn't spawned in? No, that's a, that's a stupid bug. There's one. Please, oh please. Apparently if you like, I don't know how to lock on to the tentacles, but apparently if you hit it in the tentacles and like break the tentacle off, like the appendage breaking thing, then it raises the uh, chance of you getting the thing you need. That was something else someone told me on the interwebs. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, get toppled. More damage because you're toppled. Ah, oh, you got untoppled just as I hit it. Please, oh please, let this thing give me what I need. I beg of you. I'm so tired of having to deal with finding these stupid Dougals. Next time, I'm just going to tell Vandom he's a douche and call it a day. This, this mission is awful. Time to burn. You are still alive. Why is that? 
There we go. Did I get it? Please. Oh my goodness, I still didn't get it. This is ridiculous, man. These Dougals will not drop this. You can't stop an Infinity Mission either until you finish it, I'm pretty sure. You can't, like, start another mission. I'm pretty sure it says, like, you can't do other story missions until you finish it. This is absolutely horrible. This is the worst mission I've run into this entire game. I can't attack. Is that Cho Mei up in the sky? Is that the Seven Tails up there? What was that? It was a tyrant, whatever it was. It's still there. I can't really see it. The thing reminded me of Cho Mei when I saw it from the corner of my eye. If you guys don't know who Cho Mei is, it's a Naruto reference. One of my favorite anime, if not my favorite anime. Absolutely love Naruto. Definitely is not the best anime. I will be the first to admit that it has its flaws, but I enjoy it a fair amount. This thing is so high in the sky. Like, seriously. What are you doing up there? Come down here. Wow, why are you almost dead? What's happening, man? I can't even hit it with this. All right, there, now I can. Die, please. Please die and give me what I need. Yeah, get flame grenaded. Come on, come on. Thank you, please give me what I need. Please, I beg of you. Oh my goodness. I'm literally killing the enemy that it tells me I have to kill and I'm still not getting this stupid blue tentacle. This is really starting to tip me off. I've been spending so much time on this, you guys have no idea because I'm gonna be cutting most of it out. Do you know how boring the like, I, I've got like three videos of me trying to find and kill these duogles and get what I need. It's absolutely awful, I'm cutting it all out. Some of it I didn't even commentate over because I knew I would be cutting it out. I just stopped commentating and started focusing on finding and killing these things. I wish I knew how to move the lock on around so I could hit it in the tentacle. Because apparently if you break the uh, appendage that is its tentacle, it raises the chance of it dropping. I'm not entirely sure how to do that, though. I think I'm hitting it right now, but then it keeps moving around and changing it to its face. Yeah, topple it. Here we go. Topple it, let me get up and hit it in the tentacle, please. Too busy for your cover fire, I'm trying to murder a duogle. Please die. Stop doing what you're doing. Man, these things deal a lot of damage, too. They are not pushovers. I'm about to double assault hammer it, though, to try and topple it. Alright, here we go. Yeah, I got the topple on the first hit, still gonna hit it the second time. It gets toppled, but it stays in the air. What even is logic? There you go, that did some damage. Please die here. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you, please give me what I need. Please, I'm begging you, I'm begging you. Blue electrical tentacle, I got it. Oh my freaking goodness, finally. Oh my goodness. Holy cow, I hate Vandom. <laughs> no, I don't. Vandom's still a cool character. It's not his fault that it was super difficult to find and get this thing. Would it really have been that hard for the game to have given me a waypoint to Silent Mire, though? Would have saved me so much time. Alright, but hopefully if you're watching this video and you've been having the same problem, I'm definitely going to put in the title or something that, uh, the, uh, Placid Duogul location or something like that, so that people searching for it on YouTube will find it easier. Probably if the start of the video isn't me being in the Silent Mire, I'll try and make it like that if I can, but if it isn't, then I will, uh, put an annotation at the start of the video saying, uh, giving you a little skip to a certain time in the video where I actually get to Silent Mire. Let's let's continue, though. Let's talk to... Uh, who am I talking to? Where's the... Uh, right here. Cedric, take your freaking blue tentacle, you piece of garbage. About to go Japanese on you and just shove it up your ear. I'm so sick of this thing. This is a huge help. Now we can get that armor patched up. 